Does a wetsuit actually work? Nobody documents about the transition of when you are dry in a wetsuit and you sink into the iceberg waters. Like, what's that like? And then what? Like, are you just baking? Are you a lobster boiling in the water? Like, are you gonna pass out in this? Nobody talks about it, but I am. It's a process. I do have to step into the wetsuit. Mine you access from the front. Gracefully step in, just blindly wandering your leg, <laughs> balancing like the yogi you are. Oh, okay, it's kind of like pantyhose. You can't make too much progress with one leg or else it's hard to get the other leg going. And then you just awkwardly distort your arm, position it like it's in a sling because you've dislocated your shoulder. You're gonna slither your hand, make it disappear until you can find a little opening. And then you, ta-da! Thought you were supposed to tuck this in, but the picture has it out. Do you Velcro this to the suit? Maybe you do. I don't know. That makes me feel nervous. This only took me 10 graceful minutes to put on. If you're new here, hi, welcome to my backyard. I am so blessed to have such a huge, enormous pool. Like really, most people don't have a pool this size, especially in this shape. Now don't be fooled by the sunshine. It is a warm day, but we have had quite the rainy season that I've had to reschedule filming again and again. So yes, it is warm and sunny out here. It is cold in there, it is cold. Okay, I mustn't delay anymore. Let me just capture my reaction throughout this whole process. It literally feels like the waters that I swam in in Oregon. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, I'll keep you up in front. I don't want to make you guys dizzy here, but. Oh. Okay. I am feeling the water sink into my wetsuit. It's pretty instant. It's cold, it's still cold. Usually though, I'm fine. <gasps> Do you think I could uh, speed things up if I uh, take a little pee-pee in my wetsuit? <laughs> I'm not gonna edit that out because this is an honest thought that I swear probably everybody thinks about when they're entering the cold water depths. Technically, I am the only one that can eat up my wetsuit. You know what? Maybe I'm just perfectly fine here, like right here on the third step. <laughs> it's cold. I'm not playing it up or exaggerating for the camera. I literally just hate being submerged in cold water. I will say though, it's actually somewhat tolerable. And I think it's really because of this wetsuit. I can't be squirming too much on the top step because I don't think the friction is good for my wetsuit. Okay. Hey. Yeah. Improvement. I feel like there's like a little resistance. Like there's a little buoyancy that comes with this. Okay, oh my God, yeah. I would not be able to handle this without a wetsuit, really, because my hands are cold. In comparison to how the rest of my arm feels, the wetsuit does do something right away. I wanna dry off my hands. This is very valid that I don't have to stick my head or hand in the water, because it's a wetsuit review, and you know, these are not covered in neoprene. <gasps> warming up, warming up. Get in the groove, shaking things up. Aerobica. Wait, no, that's like this little breathing thing I do. Aerobic, no, that's oh, water aerobics. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. In my Kritizen Red Soup. Wet my Kritizen.
While I am staring at the sun, I figured, why don't I answer some FAQs? The kind that I come up with, because this is not a live stream. Does the wetsuit consistently keep you warm? Yes, but it fluctuates. When I got up to move, yeah, it was back to being kind of cold. Maybe I became used to that like exact temperature. Maybe I just was like warming up the waters around me because everywhere else just feels like a cold spot. But now like I am pacing around with you guys and therefore I'm moving and I'm exuding just a little bit more body heat than usual. I feel myself warming up again. Does it go the other way where you start getting too hot in the wetsuit? Not really. And I think it's just because these waters are technically too cold to allow me to. Cause like, think about it. I I have just been standing in the direct sunlight. There's not a cloud in the sky. It honestly is hot out outside. Like I did feel myself baking a little bit, but I myself, I am not hot. I don't even feel warm. Like I just feel adjusted. Now, if you had this wetsuit in warmer waters, I do kind of wonder, like that could be a much more dangerous mix. Also too, just to keep in mind when you're dealing with like really long days outside in a wetsuit, nonetheless, like the fabrics are often dark. They're navy, they're black, they're absorbing the heat a lot more. What if the waters are too hot for a wetsuit, but too cold to your preference? Well, I guess you really just kind of have to adjust and see what works for you. Everybody has their own unique core body temperature, but did you know that a tank suit does exist? Does the wetsuit provide UV protection? Yes, just because this is dense fabric, so it's physically blocking that. Does the wetsuit loosen up? It becomes almost like your second skin when it's wet. Like it's very flexible to your body, it's bendable. It's really nice feeling, but just make sure you're always researching the materials. Wetsuits are neoprene. Neoprene is fancier, higher quality. It's just more functional, but it's also more expensive. Should everybody own a wetsuit? Yes, I can see why that's not the highest priority because it is a little bit of expensive. You do have to learn about how to care for a wetsuit. There's a washing process. You never want to ball it up and crinkle it. But um, basically, yeah, like I do, just because you'll never know when a vacation will be spur of the moment where you then have to get a wetsuit and finding a wetsuit that fits you can be a process. Would I also recommend any neoprene accessories? Yes and no in the sense that like, I don't own any as of yet. I haven't tried any to review. But again, like neoprene is neoprene. Like I can definitely see, like I was miserable sticking my hands in the water. So like, I'd love some gloves. It might be hard to find anything that's like a ski mask because most people don't want to sell something that's gonna disrupt how the goggles suction on your face. Tips for getting a wetsuit. It needs to be form fitting and snug. If it's tight, yeah, honestly, I think that's okay. Cause like I said, like once you get in the water, it is going to loosen up. But if your wetsuit is loose and has like too much space going on between the fabric and your body, it's gonna be poor insulation. And that's where it gets hard because sometimes it can be so form fitting, but not in the arms, not in the chest. And I know that can be tricky because everybody's body size is different. And like, if you're just shopping for something under a hundred dollars, maybe you're like, F it, I'm just gonna go with it, that's fine. Just be aware. You should be able to put the wetsuit on dry. If you're new on YouTube, I hope you do subscribe on my Patreon page. That is an extension of my YouTube channel, but I've definitely been upping my water content. If you're into that, or you just wanna support me and my channel and just really, elevate my content. Feel free to check it out. I'll put it down in the description below. Thanks for watching. I love you. I mean it. Bye guys.